God, I'm exhausted. What are you studying? Calc, you? Same. Think we should have went to that group study session? Probably. I don't know, it's too late now. Yeah. Damn, phone. I mean, it's almost midnight. What the hell kind of emergency can't wait till the morning? Well, take care and find out, will you? Uh, you wish to have attention. You're close, so you get it. Well, well, could be a girl. If she finally came to her senses and realized what a great catch you are. She could be a bad, all alone, thinking to herself, oh, if only that Joe Wall could come here. All right, very funny. Just get it. Fine. There's some sense of humor over here. Hello, Nate Harris speaking. Yes, sir. It's for you. Who is it? Just take it. This is Joe Walden. Who is this? Yes, sir. That is correct, sir. Yes, but... but... I mean, I suppose so, sir, but I mean, I'm in college. I understand, sir. Goodbye, sir. So, what did he want? Draft. Come again? Drafted me. <laughs> what do you mean drafted? It's a joke, right? It has to be. I don't know, you tell me. I'm supposed to report to the sergeant's office in a week. But they can't do that. Obviously they can. But we're rich. We're young. We're college students, for Christ's sakes. Guys like us don't get drafted, okay? Call that bastard back. What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, give it back. Nick, come on, there's nothing you can do. I don't accept that. Okay, they can't make you drop out of school to go fight in some pointless war. Classes of boot camp or something. Yeah, focus on calculus while being blown to bits. I don't fucking believe this. And how are you so calm through all this? What about everything you leave behind, Joe? What about your parents? What about Isabella? What about me, Joe? I mean, what if you never come back? Don't you realize it? It's all over. I think I don't know that, Nate. Why do you think I'm so worried? Do you think the idea of war fills my head, anybody's head, with visions of love and peace and all that happy bullshit? I know what's at stake here, Nate, but it's my problem, it's not yours. It's not yours, yours. stop! Don't just sit there, you flake. Fight this, do something. Why bother? Oh my god. You're gonna die, Nate. No, don't. Don't talk like that, Joe. We'll figure something out. I've got it. We'll... We'll hide you. We'll find somewhere safe. Somewhere out of town. Give me a couple of days. We'll figure out a plan. We'll sort everything out. We'll get through this. Alright?
And what food am I going to get from the villages we raid? So please excuse me if I have a little real food before I go. God, don't be so dramatic. Besides, I figured it out. Figure what out? How you are going to escape the draft. Pray to tell. I'm guessing this has something to do with it. Here's what I think. We leave tonight. We sneak out of the dorms as soon as we're sure everyone's asleep. Take the back exit out of the campus, climb underneath this hedge. Then we walk three miles east to the old dirt road no one uses anymore. A truck full of other deserters is going to drive by there at midnight. The driver's a friend of mine. I already called him up and he saved the seat for you. Follow me so far? I'm really talking about this, haven't you? Well, unlike you, I should be thinking about a solution to the situation. Unless, of course, you'd like to take your chances at the battlefield. No, no, that's fine. Keep going. So, as I was saying, the truck's heading to New York. We can camp out with the other refugees there, or make your way up to Canada. It's your choice. Personally, I prefer the New York option. Less risk. Now, you stay there. Don't tell anyone what you're doing or where you're going. When the war is over and safe to come back, you call me. I'll handle things on this end. What about Isabella? What about her? I mean, obviously she's going to notice I've been gone for, for months, maybe years. I can't do this. Right. I never thought of that. God, this would be a lot easier if you didn't have a sister. Well, I do. So what do we do now? Uh, okay, uh, just, just write a letter to her. But you can't say where you're going. Yeah. If I know that girl, she's going to come after you. Why, you have to tell her why you're going? I do. Only if you have to. I do. Fine. Sit yourself. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now, come on. You gotta get ready. What about all this? We'll pack it up. Come on. Hey, Nate. Thanks, man. No problem. the greatest day was five months ago. I thought you were dead. Oh my god, this is amazing. I know. So when are you coming home? And I'm already here. Wait, you mean here, here, or? No, I'm at home. I want, I want to see Isabella. Yeah, sure. All right, but when are you done studying, come over, okay? Um, yeah, sure, I'd love to. All right, my time's almost up here. I'll call you later. Yeah, you too. I think you should leave. What? Why? 
Mom's dead, Joe. And she found out what you did? How could she find out? I told you not to tell anyone. It was just gonna happen. There's one simple thing, and you screwed that up. What is wrong with you, You have Bob? absolutely no right to be angry. How dare you? This is your fault. It's all your fault, and it's always your fault. You left me. You left everyone behind with no explanation. I can't say that. I left you a note. Oh, right. The note. So you are exonerated from guilt because you left a stupid piece of paper? No, you lied to me. Me. You lied to Mom and Dad and everyone. He was so proud of you, Joe. How could you? And I was heartbroken. And I searched for you. I spent the next winter and my entire summer searching for you. I used all of Dad's contacts in California. Nobody could find you. I called the police so much that they stopped taking me seriously. I couldn't tell you the truth. And just... now you come back, all smiles, thinking that everything's the same, that you could just slide right back in? Well, everything is not the same, Joe Walden, and it's all your fault. I had to! I would have died in that war. All right. And I'm supposed to keep telling myself that you ran away to protect me from having to identify your body. But we both know that's not the truth. No, don't we, Joe? You're a coward. You're a coward and nothing else. If you had died in the war, at least you would have died a man. I'm so sorry. Well, it's far too late for not that now, Joe. Before you leave. Is... is she? Yes, Joe. She's my daughter. Beautiful. She's never met her uncle. And I'd say she turned out all right, wouldn't you? I'm married now. And if I survived you leaving once, I'm sure I'll be fine this time. Goodbye, Joe Walden. I'll never forgive you. Everything will be alright, everything